Hey friends, welcome back to my studio. I want to paint a landscape today. I've sketched out a game plan. I want to base it off of the painting I did called Happy Birthday. I've got it sitting here. Isn't that pretty? Oh, it's got a satin varnish on it, so you're going to see a little glare. Let's see. There we go. <laughs> um, I really like the hint of birch trees in the background and the, the contrast of the dark whatever is off in the distance and then the impressionistic grass and I think what I really like is like the confetti of the leaves falling so I want to build on it I want to change the colors a little bit I want to see what else maybe we can discover because I'm learning I'm getting better as a painter and the more I paint the better I get that kind of thing so I just did a little sketch so there I'm thinking of the, the dark background, but I wasn't real crazy about, I don't know, the layout. So I, I took the same basic layout and did it again, and I'm liking this one better. Okay, so let's have some fun, guys. Hey, I've got my uh, my game plan sketched on. I used kind of a rusty orange uh, new pastel, NU pastel from Prismacolor. They're harder and less dust. Um, I like the softer ones too. It just kind of depends on what you're aiming for. So now what I'm thinking, I want to paint. So I have a game plan and I want to paint a purple and yellow painting. Purple and yellow are, are complements. So then I'm, I'm looking at my prism violet and it's transparent. It's a pretty purple. I could use that. Or I could mix a purple. And then so do I want, so my heavy body quinacridone magenta is completely transparent. That box is open. And then I never noticed this before, but my basics quinacridone magenta is semi-opaque. It's semi-transparent. I don't know that, that that I don't know. <laughs> Sorry guys, I get I get excited to say what I want to say. I don't know that that's going to matter much. But then the the question is, do I want to mix a purple? Indenthrine's a nice dark blue and it's transparent. I could just to get a black, I could see if I get a black mixing those two together. I've never done that before. I don't know, I'm just kind of playing around. Uh, Mars black, as long as we're talking about blacks, are opaque, at least in the, um, oh, it doesn't, oh, there it does. All the little boxes are solid. I don't know if you can see that. I wonder if I could buy a transparent black. That might be kind of fun to play with. I know you can in some brands. Okay, I need to just make a decision and get going. I think what I'll do is, um, you know, maybe we'll just do it here. I don't know if, see, I don't know exactly what, excuse me, interests you guys. Um, I know that, gosh, I have 300, as I'm videoing this, it's July 2022, and I have like 350 videos. Some of them are really old videos, but what's funny is some of those really old videos do well, which I think is just really funny. Um, so I put out some Prism Violet, and I put out some Indian 3 Blue. But what I was saying about the videos is only, people only watch about six minutes. So I think they fast forward, you know. Can you guys let me know what you, how you watch my videos? I won't be offended. All that information is helpful. All right, let's just see. I'm gonna take about half and half. We're probably gonna get a blue purple. I mean, that would make sense. Oh, I could almost use that as black maybe. It's pretty dark. That Indian Threen's really dark. One reason um, to use the quinacridone, you could just buy quinacridone magenta, yellow, a blue, white and black, and then you wouldn't have to buy any more colors. Uh, these two colors make a great red, make a great orange. Uh, this and a lot of the blues make good, great greens. Okay. Maybe I'll see if I can do this. 
we'll do the prism violet and we'll do the indenthrine blue here i'm gonna put out more probably should have left myself a little more room and i don't know you could use an ultramarine blue red or green shade um, gosh use whatever blue you have don't feel like you need to go out and buy colors prism violet use whatever purple you have or mix a purple um, a little bit of blue and some quadacridone magenta you're totally gonna get um, pretty purples let's see what else do I want yellow I don't know if I need magenta now let's see how far we can get with these colors And then I'm going to put out some titanium white. Actually, this is a little cheaper. I'm going to put out this titanium white. I, you know, the website says this isn't as heavily pigmented in the basics, but boy, I have a hard time telling. Let me know if you can tell if you use this brand. Um, it is a little thinner, but look, that's not that thin of a paint. You can see all the, see how it's standing up. Um, this should be a little more heavy body because it says heavy body but boy I like the basics the basics are really nice paint okay guys I'll be back in a bit after I get a little bit painted I forgot to write the word love um, oh and this is I'm so excited to start my painting this is an 8x8 canvas panel from US art supply I've been buying these lately because it, it's from Amazon and I when I'm ordering other Amazon things I can just have it delivered to my door so I like that um, I like them just as well as the Michaels canvas panels. These do say, where the Michaels panels do not say this, this does say 100% cotton canvas, uh, triple primed, medium weight, ar archival quality. That's what I like, that it says archi ar archival quality, acid free for all media. So it's the 100% archi cotton is good because that makes it archival quality. And then the acid free is good. So I think I'm gonna buy these from now on. And then I forgot to write the word love. Where do we want to write it? It's a good way to start. Okay guys, I'll be back in a bit now. Hey, let's stop a second. So I'm running into a couple of things. I had painted my canvas white and it feels dry to the touch, but I can tell when I'm putting wet paint on it, it's sticking, it doesn't want to flow, it doesn't want to blend. So, I mean, really no big deal. It'll just become, it's just becoming part of the painting. Um, just thought I'd mention it. I'm using a half inch brush from Michaels. Um, I don't know what the white says wash. I wonder if it's a water it's supposed to be a watercolor brush, but I like it. It's a synthetic brush. Um, I like that I put some yellow in some of the prism violet. It makes kind of a brownish purple. So I have different like blue purples, brownish purples. And as, when I look through the top of my phone that I'm videoing with, it looks pretty black to me. So I don't know if you guys can see it. So let's take a second. I'm going to let it dry and then I'm going to come back. I don't know if you can see like where the acrylic paint's drying. I get little white specks. I'm going to come back with another layer. So I painted my canvas white with two coats because I was thinking I kind of wanted to fill in some of the texture. When I scan it in and I print it large, you really see the texture. So I was going to see if that helped a little bit. Um, scan it in, send it to my agent kind of thing. 
Okay, guys, <clears throat> excuse me. I think that's all I have for right now. I'm going to let this dry and then I'll be back later. friends I'm gonna stop for this evening so I thought I'd pop in and just comment on a couple things it's starting to take shape which I like you know I've added some oh kind of rusty orangey and then I came back later and added some green have some greens down here I'm keeping it really loose and impressionistic I've been using this half inch brush the whole time um, I made browns with yellow and purple Oh, uh, this brown has a little blue in it, so it makes it cooler. What else do I need to say? Um, I think I need to put in the tree trunks. And I think I'm going to use a combination of maybe... So my light... Where's my sun? <laughs> my light's pretty... Pretty much coming, like, from over here. It's not real high in the sky, it's more, it's lower based on the shadows. Um, so I think I'm gonna put maybe the warmer, like browns, or maybe the warmer purple on the right side and then the sort of blue purple on the left side and then kind of mix it up a little bit. I'm not sure exactly, but I don't think I'm gonna need any more colors on this palette. Uh, what else? Maybe you just kind of want to see it closer. I've got a couple layers on most of it. Oh, one thing I did is I, I put a, just a little bit of purple and some yellow, and it makes kind of that gold color that looks a little bit more muted. But when you get it against all these darks, um, it looks almost like straight up yellow, doesn't it? I think that's kind of neat. Plus, I've got yellow and purple, you know, complements right there. So, and then this is a real dark area, so I probably will put a little... I don't know, creamy white or something right here. Have it pop. I think my focal point's gonna be right in this area. Okay, let you look a little closer. I think that's fun. It's fun to paint it loose. I like, I like, I mean, it's really juicy. I like the color in it. I put a little blue in here. I was playing with that just in that last little bit. Cooled off the shadows a little bit. Put a little blue in there. I think that's kind of fun. Oh, and I stuck in a couple of tree trunks that I may lose, but it kind of reminds me as I'm painting what, what I'm thinking. Okay, guys. I will be back tomorrow.
Hey friends, I'm going to stop here for today. I've been using flat brushes. I dropped down to a quarter inch flat. It's a craft brush from Michaels, Craft Smart. Um, I've been using this one a lot for most of the painting. It's a half inch uh, brush from Michaels. It came in a pack, Artist Loft. And so what's fun is I've got, like this tree is the warmest, most detail. I've got a light blue gray on the back for a little sort of reflective color. And I've got yellow, like a light yellow on the front for a highlight. Oh, I, I had noticed I had the highlights wrong on my trees in the background. So I painted some white and some yellow and changed the shadow from being on the right side to being on the left. So it matched the trees in the front. You can maybe get away with it, but I, I changed it. Um, I'm also darkened the trees in the back because they were really, even though it's a muted yellow, they were really strong. Um, I might lighten them up again. I'm liking, um, and actually it's dried darker on me already. I'm liking these little light gray. So I made a gray by just getting close to yellow and purple mix so it would be not much purple and yellow and really what I did was I took one of these browns and a little bit of this dark blue purple and mixed the gray. Um, I'm liking these little marks over here. They dry darker on me so I'm going to reinforce them. We'll see if those stay. I think that looks nice. What might be next? Well I need to step away for it from it so it'll help that I'm stopping for today. Um, what might be next is to put in some leaves up here like I did in the painting I showed you at the beginning of this video. And I might have too many little flecks in here I don't know. Just kind of play with it but it's coming together the trees are looking fun. Oh it also might be fun to um, maybe we'll grab some of this dark gray. And then maybe like, I'm not sure where they would end. I could maybe hint at a, if I don't like this, I can always paint it out. Hint at a tree in the background. That might be kind of fun. And then, sorry about the wiggle. I've got a wire that was in my way. So I'm going to have leaves up here. We could hint. Actually, we could put a branch. And then we make it just a little darker. Let's see. I don't know. I don't know if I want it over here. So I've, my focal point hopefully is kind of right here. I might have to emphasize that more. I've got my lightest light right there and my darkest dark right there. Maybe I'll put it in here. We could just have it going behind. I don't know. I think I better just stop for today and take a break. You can try to push through it and it doesn't work very well. I think it's time. I'll be back tomorrow, guys.
Hey, what do you guys think? I've got plenty going on. I was, I think I was thinking simpler for the trees in the background, but I really didn't. I don't know, I've got quite a few bushes and trees. I did darken them. I think that helps to push them back. Then make this area be more in the sun. I, I like the falling leaves. Just some of them are catching the sunlight and some bunches are, are not. So I really like that part. Of course, the purple makes it yummy. Purple and yellow complements. Warm highlights on the right, cool highlights on the left. I don't know. See what you think. I will link that uh, video. I think I've already said this. So this is, gosh, three, four days later, maybe even more. I had to stop and work on a couple other things. Um, so I'm not sure how many days later, but I'm pretty sure I said that I would link Happy Birch Day in this video's description. Um, it has a traceable. And it's a very similar painting, similar, oh, I don't style is the right words, feel with the leaves falling. Well, I super appreciate you hanging out with me. I really can't thank you all enough for the super thanks, for sending money um, through PayPal to support the channel, um, support through chats, just all the different ways, comments, likes, sharing it to groups. I, I couldn't do this without all of you guys. Great, big, happy art hugs, and I hope to chat with you soon. Bye, guys.